So back at the optimization migration plugin, let's take a look at what it can do. The first thing is it has a scan manager application, as we mentioned, to do the actual scan for VMs that are misaligned. Upon clicking on this option, you get this screen, which includes all of the data stores that are available in the vSphere client. Notice the information in the screen includes the data store name, the host, the type of data store it is, whether it's optimized or not, and by that we mean whether or not it has been specially offset to account for a misaligned VM, whether or not it's excluded in the scan when, when a scan is initiated, and what the last point in time that the scan occurred. Now note, we can actually scan, despite the fact that in VSC 4.0 we can't create optimized NFS data stores, we can still scan that, any data store, including NFS. We can actually scan any storage vendor's data store. We can scan locally attached storage. We can scan any data store just to check for whether or not virtual machines are aligned or not. You could choose a single data store to scan, multiple data stores, or all the data stores. Once you choose a set of data stores to scan, you would click on the Scan Selected button here. You'll note that the scanner status changes to running. When it is complete, it will revert to idle. You'll also note that at that point in time, the last scan status will be updated to reflect the current time. You can also use this schedule area right here to create a scan schedule. Clicking on this will bring you a scheduler screen. So in this case, let's say we want to schedule at 4 a.m. Monday through Friday. We now have a schedule. Let's say we did not want to scan NFS data store 3, or data store NFS 3. We could exclude this by highlighting the data store and then choosing the exclude button up here. After clicking on the refresh button over here, you will note that the status under included, excluded changes to yes. All we have to do then is click on the include button, click refresh, and you'll note that the status changes back to no. Once this is complete, if you click on the virtual machine button, you will see a folder structure that appears. You will see a folder of aligned with a subset of folders called functionally aligned and actually aligned. You'll see a folder for misaligned and then other. So what's the difference between functionally aligned and actually aligned? Actually aligned means that the v virtual machine is, in fact, aligned and doesn't actually require uh, to be in a specially designed data store simply to be aligned. It can reside on a normal data store and it will result in aligned I.O. In this case, you could see we have two virtual machines, or actually three virtual machines and two different data stores that come up as actually aligned. Note both of these two virtual machines are running Windows 2008 R2 which by default, when installed, are aligned. So they show up as actually aligned. Functionally aligned means that the VM has been placed in a specially optimized data store and is therefore, quote unquote, functionally aligned, even though the actual machine is not aligned. In this case, we have no, no uh, virtual machines that are on a functionally aligned data store at this point, so no VMs show up. Now let's take a look at our misaligned VMs. Online migration means that the virtual machines are actually eligible to be migrated to a specially optimized data store while it remains online using storage vMotion. Offline alignment means that the virtual machine cannot be migrated and be verified to be aligned after the migration takes place. So in this case, we have one VM that cannot be migrated in that method to be aligned 
and we have two virtual machines that are eligible for such migration. Finally, the other, the other folder includes virtual machines that might have multiple partitions or a partition that's unreadable, such as a GPT partition, wherein we cannot determine whether or not the virtual machine can be optimized using this tool. So in this case, let's take a look at our virtual machines that are eligible for, optim for online migration. We have a Red Hat Linux machine and a Windows XP machine. If we choose one, of, one or both of these virtual machines to migrate, we would select the, two, the VMs, and then we would have the option to migrate them using this button here. Or if we just wanted, we could have also chosen Migrate All. So what happens when we click Migrate? If you've already run through the provisioning and cloning wizard, you will be able, this will look very familiar to you as it uses the provisioning and cloning engine to create the optimized data store. Note that the message here says that we've selected two machines with different offsets. So in order to optimize these, we would actually have to create two data stores. So what we'll do here is cancel this wizard and we'll go back and choose the Windows XP box and migrate this one. Note that because this is VSC 4.0, we can only migrate to VMFS data stores. So we will have to create such a data store and migrate the VM from NFS to uh, VMFS for this migration to, to be successful. So we will choose the data store, in this case, or the controller first. This happens to be on this controller already, so we'll keep it on the same controller. And again, we get the message that we have to go from NFS to VMFS, and we do want to continue. We'll create a new data store. No, VMFS is our only option. We'll have to choose a, an entity that has enough space. So let's, for instance, take, we'll create a new volume container on Agar 1, which has two terabytes of free space. We'll call this Windows XP Optimized. We'll make it 50 gigs in size. And we'll make it FCP, and we'll thin provision the one. It'll tell us our qualified hosts, which are both of our hosts in our cluster, and give us a summary of what we're about to do. Once we click Apply, we can monitor the task at the bottom as it creates the data store for us. So it's finished creating the LUN, it's creating the VMFS data store at this point, rescans the VMFS to add it as a data store, configures the proper uh, PSP for the LUN, then it begins the migration of the virtual machine. You can see it is completed at this point. So now you'll see also the virtual machine has disappeared from the online migration section. If we go to the functionally aligned section, we will now see that we have this functionally aligned data store and that in the data store we have the Windows XP machine that we migrated, which is now functionally aligned. If we go back to Scan Manager, we can see that we have our new data store here and you can see that it is considered optimized because it has got the special offset. We can now run a scan on that. And note, because this virtual machine is actually running, when it runs the scan, it has to take a virtual machine snapshot so that it can scan the virtual machine. 
when a virtual machine is running, the VMDK file becomes locked, and we can't actually perform the scan operation while the VM is running like that. So what we do is we take a snapshot, and we can scan the base disk while the snapshot continues to run. Once we're done with the scan, we remove the snapshot. And now we see that we have our optimized data store. It's been optimized, and we scanned it last just now. One other thing to note is that this group number here, where it, under online migration, will tell you the offset. So in this case, group 5 means that the starting partition for that VM that it's uh, going to align starts at offset 5. If you recall, the Windows XP VM was at group 7, which is typically where you would find Windows XP virtual machines offset begin in, in bucket 7, as we looked at earlier in the, in the LUN histogram. So now, at this point, the VM is free to live here. And what can happen is, is that if you want to actually correct the virtual machine, we can always run a, a VMware converter or MBR line or some other tool to fix the VM on our own schedule. But we've now lessened the burden on the storage system because we have aligned I.O. from that virtual machine. Now, if we go back to our main virtual center view, We'll see our virtual machine here, which has continued to run the whole time. And you can see that it is in this data store here. We can also see from our data store view our new data store. And if we go to our monitoring and host configuration, we do a uh, update. Let it complete. Then go to our SAN details screen. We'll see our new LUN here that's been optimized. And we can see the information about the LUN. We can see that we disabled space reservation. Remember when we created it, we created it thin. We get our serial number, all of our information. And you know how the LUN's been named in ONTAP. So we know that it's been optimized for Windows XP, but that's the name we gave it. Um, and then, of course, we could see that uh, it automatically d enabled the duplication on the volume container that we created. And we could see the usage of the data store here. Thank you for taking time to review the v Virtual Storage Console for VMware 4.0 Optimization and Migration.